हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द सार्थक शो वेर वी डिस्कस अबाउट टेक करियर प्रोडक्ट एंड लाइफ एंड इन दिस स्पेशल पॉडकास्ट सीरीज वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस शी इज रक्षा राव शी इज वर्किंग एट डेटा एज अ डेटा एनालिस्ट एट शेल सो शेल यू माइट नो इज इन द एनर्जी सेक्टर एंड एनर्जी डोमेन एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट how you can identify yourself as a data analyst how you can move into the domain of data science data engineering and data analyst what are the different perks what are the different uh, differences between these domains and how you can grow in these different sectors and also there will be some tidbits information about all about the data so you can check that out in this video uh, and we will uncover all of these things <music> Hello everyone welcome back to my channel the sarthak show where we discuss about tech career product and life and in today's podcast we have a very special guest with us raksha she is working as a data analyst at shell uh, so today we will deep dive into her story uh, what data analyst profile looks like what are the different projects that she has worked on and how her journey has led to work uh, Uh, let to her working at shell what were the different hurdles or challenges that she faced and what are her learnings in past two years working at shell in the data analyst domain so thank you so much raksha for joining in for this podcast and taking out time for the audience itself and i would love to know more about your professional background and professional journey thank you so much for having me satak i mean um it's it's great to be here uh, i think i absolutely enjoyed all of the other videos that you had put up um and you know uh, when i saw the message i was like hey great you know i definitely want to share um any learnings that i might have in terms of um the work that i've been doing and um it's an absolute pleasure to be here so thank you yeah welcome yeah so um just a little bit about myself um i I've done like my BTech in information science engineering um and I got into Shell uh through campus recruitment right so in my current role in Shell is that of a data analyst right within Shell trading so that's my current role that's the business that I cater to mm-hmm. and the way that so Shell had come in the third year for campus hiring and then they had um you know a bunch of different rounds uh that they went through mm-hmm. so maybe just to start off with that experience mm-hmm. right we first had um like uh, a coding round or like the, the first round that we had so we had, it was on metal and we had like um i think two dynamic programming problems um coding problems and then we had um one uh, whole section okay. for um you know just sql like there was just like a bunch of sql questions and then we had two other sections so the third one was like logical aptitude and then we had verbal okay. so uh, there were about like four sections of different questions um and um so the and the way metal works is that it's adaptive also in certain cases i think um like if you answer one question and then the next question becomes a little harder but okay. one thing that i noticed um about shell or the the kind of a uh, way that they were having their first round was that they had a lot of sql questions since they had like an entire section for just sql because i feel like you know they felt it was relevant to all of the different um job positions that they were hiring for so when they had come to our college they were not just hiring you know for like a data role they were hiring for like different um you know uh, facets within it like for software engineering or project management or data and analytics or um you know enterprise resource planning or you have like a, a you know support and ops like there are multiple facets within it and shell was sort of uh, coming to hire for all of those different roles mm-hmm. right so um so i had like my interview after the first um, round when i was moved on to the next round after a few days um, mm-hmm. like there was a couple of days uh, in between and during that time uh, it was like a very you know uh, the recruiters were really great they made me feel comfortable they asked me a little bit about my project um but one thing that they focused a lot on was how did you derive value from that right so they didn't yeah. like they wanted to understand the technical aspects of it but one thing that they really wanted to understand was you know how um how do you how does this is there proof of long term value in this mm-hmm. right is there proof of um how did you overcome the challenges that were there uh, when right. you when you 
uh, you know encounter this project who are your end users how did it cater to your end users right if i said okay i built a website then they ask you know who are the different user personas mm -hmm. what what did you what kind of challenges did you face and then when i'd mentioned like um you know a data project which was you know related to nlp right so they asked like what complexities did you encounter how did you work as a team right so they wanted to know more about my like business professional skills and functional skills mm -hmm. as well as the technical part but they wanted to get more understanding into uh, how we encountered a situa situation and were we able to solve it like that's mm -hmm. that was mostly their goal so mm -hmm. it was more of like a a technical plus behavioral round you could say um like the first um, face to face round so um that went on for about like two and a half hours to three hours where they just wanted they just you know kept shooting like yeah yeah they kept just shooting different functional questions mostly right mm -hmm. so anytime i said hey um you know there was this one um uh, algorithm that we had built in order to optimize something he would say okay these are the use cases in shell do you think you can apply this okay. in what you have built right so and how would you do it and then you know like they told me to sort of put it on the whiteboard and explain it to them as to how we can go about that and things like that so yeah. it's it was a very interactive more of like a conversation based interview which right. was at least in shell as a company they care more about what value it brings at the end of the day because shell it is a part of business ops right okay. so ultimately you want to know what uh, uh, how it can cater to the business right okay. you're not you're essentially enabling the business as a as an entire horizontal so they want to understand if you have that functional way of thinking right, right? so um, which is then after that interview we had like a very short hr interview it was not very complicated it was just i felt like it was it's very short interview they just asked you a little bit more about you mm -hmm. so all in all it was three rounds for me but some other students based on their profile uh, like for example when uh, some people who got hired into software engineering they had a little bit more networking uh, related questions and all of that okay. right but since my like uh, cv that i had built over the four years in engineering was more data science related or like mostly in that domain i had questions like these so i think they look at a student in terms of how they think or what the functional understanding is and based on that they put them in the teams right okay. within the company itself sure, so is, yeah yeah so apparently since you were working in the data science domain and data analytics domain you were chosen for that but uh, the interesting. interesting part would be how would like how did you move into that domain what was the thinking behind it or like how did you choose to go into data analytics sure sure um so as i mentioned you know uh, once we got into the company one of the first projects that i worked on was a data engineering project which um you know essentially involved me upskilling into uh, data warehousing uh, big data uh, understanding pi spark understanding um you know uh the different cloud technologies that we have like aws or azure so the role was quite technical in terms of the work that i was doing uh mm -hmm. which involved understanding like um pipeline optimization or like um uh, you know a data orchestration and ultimately getting clean structured data out right so the goal was to just um assimilate data to make it presentable right but it's a complex process that we have in the data engineering uh, part of things i was doing more of um, mainly in pyspark like i had to understand pyspark as a whole and work on that and upskill into that okay. so that hey folks wait there is a special announcement newton school has started their full stack web development course you can try and check that out in the description box below it has mentioned all the details which will help you get upskill in the web development and also this will be very good for get, getting yourself hired at startups and mlcs so what are you waiting for try and check that out my first role as a data engineer right and then so i did this for about a year right uh, and then moved on to my next project which was uh, you know there was an opportunity that opened up for a more data analyst kind of role right so uh, and i said so for the past one year i've been doing data engineering and I, and i also did a little bit of data visualization i now want to try out a third the third facet that it, that comes in this the third type of role that comes within the data space okay. so 
uh, I moved into the uh, data analyst role and you know, uh, data analyst role, um, it was more into understanding um, ultimately what uh, data the business wanted and how they wanted to derive insights out of it okay. right and again the tech stack used here is a pretty straightforward it's you know excel sql and a little bit of python like you know your evergreen tools um, yeah, exactly. that become so important that can be used in uh, absolutely any domain absolutely any role also yeah. but you know i it's those those uh, three technology stack um, you know, essentially, I just use it to like test the data, or or you know, transact data to understand how I can convert those data requirements into business requirements and things like that. So, it's uh, the the role that I'm doing is more techno functional, whereas my previous uh, what I did in the past uh, in the first year was uh, completely technical. So I wanted to transition from like technical to a techno functional role, and um, so the role that I'm currently doing is similar to that. Okay. So yeah, um, it's it's been going well. Um, I think there is uh, a lot of things that you want to understand as a data analyst. You always have to keep in mind like what you're trying to get out of the data and understand the business as well. Because if you don't, then you can't make sense of what's there in right. the data. So whereas in data engineering, it's good to understand what's there in the data, but ultimately you're just pipelining the data, you're orchestrating it, you're taking care of performance and things like that. Uh -huh. When you move on to data analysis, you have to you know, get a background on the business. You have to understand the business a little bit and you have to be have the skill of being able to convert um, requirements data requirements into business terminology and things like that so a lot of it op overlaps with the business analyst role as well uh, i would say um in, in in the experience that i had so yeah yeah interesting part and since you mentioned that you were doing some tech intensive works and you were doing working on multiple technologies and then you made this transition which was like strategic and tactically uh, uh and uh, like an advancement towards your career Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Sarthak Show, where we discuss about tech, career, product and life. And today we have a very special guest, uh, Raksha. She is working as a data analyst at Shell. And she has a good enough experience in data science, data engineering and data analysis and data visualization. So we will learn more about the differences for how you can grow into this career paths. What are the different learnings that are required? What are the different skills that are required to move into the data domain? Uh, how it can be helpful for your career path, how you can move into this segment and also what was her interview experience and what you can learn from that. So uh, watch the watch this whole video till the end of it and get no more about details. Uh, and if you have not even subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon near that so that you get a notification every time I put a new video. And without further ado, let's start with the video.